You're about to see a snippet from one of the online webinars that I would have delivered in the past. If you're interested in those webinars, then you can find the link to my website in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning about things like resilience, how to deal with mental and emotional health, things like being a highly sensitive person and the impacts of trauma, then please make sure that you've subscribed and you've turned on the notifications so you know each and every time I post a video. we need to try our best to support people better where they're at. Now, all my life, I felt like I was on a sinking ship and I had a bucket and I was just getting the water out, just enough to keep my head above the water. And people saw this and they saw my ship going off course and they said, Josh is off course. And they all jumped on the ship and they got on there and they steered it and they got it back on, 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 on the right course. And then they all jumped off and celebrated and said, have you seen, we've helped Josh, his ship's back on course. And then two weeks later, when my ship was way off course again, everyone would say, well, if Josh doesn't want to help himself, then we're not going to bother helping him. And nobody recognized that my experience, even when I was on course, never changed. I still had a bucket and was still just emptying the water so that my head could stay above it. The best way to help and support people is to jump on their ship and grab a bucket yourself and start emptying the water. And then you give me the opportunity to put my bucket down for a moment and start to look at my own journey. And you don't tell me where to go. You say, Josh, I'm here and I'm just emptying the water. This is your life, your journey, and I want you to support you on your own journey. And then I find my own course. And when I do, it's through empowerment rather than being, being fixed.